Hi, I'm Andy Leonard, and today I'm going to show a comparison between the free RD client for Microsoft running on an iPad versus Hop2 Work running on an iPad. To do this, I'll show Goldmine running on both to show you the difference. First thing we're going to do is open the RD client on my iPad. Once we've done this, we can now see the various hosts I have. So we'll connect this one on the right hand side here, the RDS Demo 1. Once it connects, now you have a remote desktop to your RDS server you know, like it would be running on your Windows PC. So what I'd like to show you is Goldmine, you know, running on an iPad via the RD client for Microsoft. So we click on Goldmine, and then Goldmine opens. So on the RD client, you know, it's just like using um, Goldmine on a Windows machine. So, you know, if I want to get to the keyboard, I click on keyboard at the top here, and then the keyboard appears. And if I press the keyboard button at the top again, then the keyboard disappears. But it's sometimes hard, you press it a couple of times for it actually to, to work. So as a test, let's create a new record in um, Goldmine. So we click on New Record, then we click on the record type. So we select Service Customer, then we click on State for an example. So this is a writable field. So from here, I now need to bring the keyboard up. So I press keyboard at the top. Now the keyboard comes up. But the problem is it's covered the field that I wanted to type in. So now if I try and scroll up, you know, it scrolls right to the bottom of the screen. So I can try and scroll the other way. And it's very hard to get back to that field. So I click the menu at the top here, where it says RDS Demo 1 then click on mouse pointer mode now click back on keyboard and now I should be able to scroll so now I click on state which is hard because I've got to move the mouse over to state then I can click on it and type and now I select the other feature I want to show you in the RD client for Microsoft it's a zoom functionality. So at the top here next to RDS Demo 1, on the left, if I press this button here, you know, now it does a zoom into the application. The problem with this is, you know, it's very hard to navigate around, and the zoom is so magnified that you can only see a very small part of the screen. So if I try and move left or right, you know, I just go on this cursor here, and then I can move up and down and left and right. But as you can see, you know, very hard to find the field you want to edit. So all in all, you know, the RD client, you know, it's usable for applications, but all it's really doing is transporting the app from a Windows environment to an iOS or Android environment. But it's not really doing anything with the application. You know, Zoom doesn't work very well. The keyboard's very hard to use. The mouse, you know, is not intuitive. It's, it doesn't do exactly what it needs to do. And even getting just to menu screens and that kind of thing, using the RD client, can be very cumbersome and, you know, hard to use. So now I'd like to show you Hop2 Work running on my iPad. And in this demo, like the RD client, I will show you the Goldmine application. So the first thing to do is tap on the Hop2 Work application on my iPad screen here. Then select the host server you want to use. So in this case we're going to use demo, which is the same host we use in the ID client demo. We now put in our password and select gateway password. It's the same as my host password. And now click connect. When Hot2 Work opens, you now need to press on the applications on the left hand side here. These are all the published applications that are published on the RDS server we use in Remote App Manager. So from here we can select Goldmine which opens up in Hop2 Work on my iPad. As you can see, it's open a new tab at the top called Front Range Goldmine. And if I hit the home next to it on the left hand side, you know, it takes me back to my list of applications, where from here I could open another application. So like we did on the RD client, let's click on New Record to create a new record. So I click on New Record, and as you saw straight away, you know, it has a zoom functionality, where it's zoomed in to the record, so you can see the full screen you know, on the iPad here. So I click on record type, a very simple, only took me one attempt, and I get a service customer. 
Now from here, you know, if I click on account, now automatically the keyboard comes up and it always shows you in view, you know, the field that you're trying to edit. So here if we type in something, then I press the keyboard button. So now if I click on state for an example, you know, automatically it moves the screen up so the keyboard's at the bottom and the viewable screen is at the top here. So if I do CA and then select California. So if I turn the keyboard off, you know, it goes back down and everything's in zoom. Then I can click on OK and it zooms back out. So we have this auto zoom, you know, disabled or auto zoom enabled. So any editable field, you know, when you click on it, it will auto zoom and bring the keyboard up, you know, automatically for you. Another really good feature of Hop2 Work is a Max Control toolbar along the bottom here. So as you can see, you know, we have opportunities, calendar, contact search, email center, pit list, go to auto zoom and keyboard. You know, these are predefined on the Hop2 RDS server using the Hop2 control panel. And from here you can create menu items and buttons. To show you this, if I click on the opportunities down the bottom left hand side here, now it uses a short key that's configured on the RDS server, you know, using the Hop2 control panel. And that short key will be the key used to open opportunities up within the Goldmine application. If I click on calendar, you know, now opens the calendar tab. Contact search, you know, opens a contact search center, email, and opens email. And from here, it's very easy to switch between the open tabs. If you go to a tab and there's an editable area, you know, the keyboard will automatically come up and you can input text. Also, I want to show you the keyboard quickly on Hop2 Work. So if I tap on keyboard on the bottom right and click keyboard again. It you know, now gives me the F keys as well on a Windows keyboard and obviously the others up and down arrows and that kind of thing. So Hop2 Work doesn't just transport the Windows application to the iPod or Android device. It also transforms the application by giving you this extra functionality. You know, the max control features at the bottom, the automatic zoom and also the automatic keyboard for editable areas in your application. To finish off the video, there will be a slide showing you various links to useful information regarding Hop2Work. Thank you for your time today and hope the video was informative.